you know, it's me, your little boy, K okay, Samson. You know, the, you, you know the reason why uh, it sounds so funny, no matter who they are that hate you, do you know the reason why it's so good? Because they can only influence others, you know, to hate you. They can only influence others to join them, you know, like talking bad of you, hating you behind the scene, speaking evil against you. But what hurt them the most is that they can't do it, influence God to a point, or they can't influence God at all to do or to hate you or stop blessing you. You know, they can easily convince people around them to join them to hate you, to tell you how desperate jealous people is, to tell you how, how wicked, how bad, how ignorant they are. They can easily influence people around them to join them to hate you, to join them. Start, you know, to start talking bad of you behind the scene, even publicly. But what frustrates them the most is that they can't influence God to stop blessing you. You know what I'm saying? So that is why no matter how they hate you, no matter what they do, no matter how they tried, God will still be always available. God will always be available to protect, preserve, and pro pro you know, pro provide all your needs. Despite of all their hating, despite of all that they are doing behind you, Despite of everything that they, their intention, despite of all that they have been talking, you know, gossiping, saying behind the scene, but they can't influence God to stop what hating you, and that really hurt them the most. That frustrate them the most. That humiliate majority and many people up there the most. Because they can only turn people around. They can easily make people, they can convince them. But they can't convince God. Nothing that they can do, nothing that they can put in, nothing that they can try that can make God to come to that point where he will stop blessing you. So that really what frustrate majority of people. That is why you need not to be afraid. That is why you need not to panic at all when you see people who suddenly start to hate you. When you when you grow, when you meet people who suddenly start to taunt against you. Because no matter what they do, no matter how they try, no matter how they try to influence others, you will still be progressing, succeeding, despite of that they're hating. You know, that really killed them the most. Because despite of that, their evil word, hating, despite of that, their evil word, mindset, despite of all that they may have against you, despite of all that they may be plotting against you, God will not stop blessing you because of the jealous people around you. You know what I'm saying? That is why many of them are frustrated because God will never stop blessing you because of the you know because of what people are saying behind the scene or because of what they are doing behind the scene or because of their hatred or because of the fact that they are not happy with you that can't stop god from blessing you <laughs> you know I, I i told us that was yesterday that god has finally said to us and many people are still hating, hating us, despite of all that they are seeing around us that God is using to do what? To settle us. <laughs> That's why you need not to argue with people who, who hate you. You need not to tell them, please, now don't plead with them. Whoever that want to go, let them go. Whoever that want to leave, let them leave. Whoever that decide not to stay, let them go. Because sometimes when God is about to bless you abundantly, He sends some people away. <laughs> Listen, that's just when God was about to bless Haman, He first of all, you know, forced Haman to witness the blessing before He disgraced him. So if people want to live your life because of the fact that every, maybe uh, because of the fact that you are succeeding and they are hating you, let them go. 
Because some people will not tell you the main reason why they are living. Some people will not tell you the main aim why they are living. Because many of them are just living because what they thought that will stop you. So, you know, some people are so ignorant and so selfish. So, sorry for using that word. Some people are so what, ignorant to a point where they will be seeing whom they are hating, succeeding, and they will still be hating him. So what am I trying to say is this, God don't need the permission before he blessed you. He don't need their, their, word, their audacity. That is why they can easily influence garbages like them to join them hate you. But yet you whom they hate will still be progressing. But they who hate you will still be where they are. Because God don't do what? God don't take permission or God don't ask question from no man or ask someone up there can I bless this one God don't do so he blessed you according to his will you know what I'm saying so whoever that is influencing people around you in order for you to be annoyed let them keep what influencing others why God keep what influencing your life with blessing remember blessed may God bless you